Hey, today I was just um, going to show you, uh, this is a sectional overhead door, and it's, um, it's a vertical lift. It goes straight up the wall. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five panels that are two foot each, which makes the opening height ten feet. So the door is going to go up to about right there, which will be at the 20 foot point, and then the springs are just a little bit higher. So what I was going to do is, um, uh, let me just show you first how the door doesn't want to stay up. It's a little bit heavy. I lift it. And it falls back down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up there and tighten one of the springs. Um, I add a little tension to it, like 360 degree, degrees, which is one full turn. Uh, probably go just a little more than that, like one and a half turns. Uh, first thing you want to do is lock the door so that when you do put the tension on it and you release the winding bars, these little boys, um, the door doesn't want to fly up and knock you off the ladder. So I'm going to lock it. All right, it's locked. And uh, bear with me for a minute. I'm going to buzz on up this ladder here and put a little tension on the springs and you'll see what I'm talking about when I get through. You'll want to hold on very well. This is rather dangerous if you don't anticipate what may could happen. And early on this kind of stuff did scare me but I've been doing it long enough now it's not a problem. You uh, insert your winding bar and hold it. Then you loosen the uh, set screws. They're three eighths square and they sink into the shaft right here and uh, hold the counterbalance tension on here. So now I have released it from the shaft and this spring is ready to wind. Now looking at it up here, it's very rusty. So it needs some lubrication, which I'll do after I get through. But anyway, here we go. That's about, oh, 50 pounds of force at the end of this uh, 18 inch rod. So it's got quite a bit of tension on it. Really gives your shoulders a workout. That's three quarters of a turn. If you will notice, I'm, I'm winding it one quarter of a turn at a time. That's four. So that's one full turn. One full turn and a quarter. One full turn and a half. This is a commercial overhead door. And that's one and three quarter rounds of tension. So now I'm gonna go back and reset the set screws into the shaft. And all the energy on this spring is gonna be transferred to the shaft and the drums that the cable is wrapped around. In essence, this will hold the whole weight of the door two springs combined is the way it's engineered. I'll about be through here. Tighten this one last one up. You want to get it good and snug because you don't want it to slip. You don't want it too tight or it'll pierce the shaft and break. So there's a sweet spot you're looking for. Just good and snug. Not Don't overdo it. All right, let's get that. Now it's time to remove the bar. So I'll push up on this one, pull out on this one, and there we go, presto. So I'm coming down now. All right, back down on earth. As you can see, I'll get a little close. This does generate a little bit of sweat as it's rolling down my face here. Hope y'all are doing good today. Maybe y'all are in the air condition. I'm not. 
So here we go. We're going to unlock the door and raise it and see if it'll stand up on its own now. That's more like it. See there, now it doesn't drift down because I've compensated, compensated by putting a little tension on the spring. I appreciate you watching. Um, I don't recommend working on a door like this until you're fully knowledgeable of some things. There's a lot of information on the websites, um, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of what we do to handle uh, these kind of problems. This is a loading dock, and forklifts come in and out, and uh, in the middle of unloading a truck, you don't want the door to come down. The driver of the forklift may not know it, and he'll hit the door. The bottom panels will bend and buckle, can cause traumatic injury to the door. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, click like. I'm going to try to upload this to YouTube. Have a good day. Garage door guys rock.